Okay, so here it comes the Pixel Dust Android version 11 official build for the Mi H2 devices. If you are Redmi Note 9 Pro user, if you are Redmi Note 9S user, if you are Redmi Note 9 Pro Max user, or if you are user of Poco M2 Pro, you can install this build on your device. This is a unified build, and this is actually quite good. I tried it. I'm using it from past 24 hours basically, and the room is quite smooth, buttery smooth. It comes with the latest Android version 11. We have tested it on our device. This is is just quite good i didn't know that pixel dust has many customizations but now after installing this build we got to know that this build has a lot of customizations quite a things which are quite good some things aren't good but yes i'm just gonna share with you my opinions about this pixel dust os which you can install on a device so first of all this is the default ui as the name suggests it's pixel dust ui so all the pixel goodies are available for you or present pixel kind of icons pixel launcher all these things are pre-installed and if you don't know you can customize the pixel launcher also i have a high depth video already available if you want that high depth feature in a pixel launcher you can get that in the quick settings panel by default this is the ascent color you get here which is not actually properly blue but something different maybe something blue also but yes you can customize that in the tiles option in the quick settings tiles where you can add some more tiles if you want to we have the gaming mode let me just tell you whenever i tried to enable the gaming mode it was not working i'm not sure if i am doing something wrong or not but yes it was not working you can also reset these tiles by just clicking at one button let's let me just show you once again that how the gaming mode is behaving like we have just enabled this gaming mode let me just try to enable it like this nothing is opening here if i go again and try once again nothing is going on if i try and hold this for once nothing is going on i'm not sure if it is wrong just in my case or if i'm doing something wrong but yes it's not working here maybe i have not enabled it in settings so this might be the issue in the screen recording settings yes we have some advanced options available for you record audio show touches on screen stop dot and lower quality for smaller file sizes etc which is a very good thing i don't use screen recording much but the option is present for you if you're gonna talk about the battery stats, let me just tell you one of the best things about this. As you can see, active drain is basically 5.59% per hour. Of course, I used it for just 40 minutes, but yes, this seems to be good. I am using it for, as you can see, deep sleep 17 hours and 42 minutes, which means I'm I have installed this build on my device more than 24 hours ago. Idle drain is quite good, by the way, 0.06% which is mind blowing and yes this is why i love this build on my device a lot in styles and wallpapers let me just show you that if you move on here and if you check out the on device wallpapers you only have the one wallpaper pre-installed but yes we have other wallpapers which we're going to talk about later but this is the live wallpaper which it has i didn't thought any other kind of custom room has this feature but this one has this and this is the live wallpaper which is working quite good no lags but i'm not sure that whenever i tried to turn on turn off the lock screen or whatever i tried the live wallpaper was not working it was not showing any kind of animation so i'm not sure how it is actually working i didn't try it much on my device but it's actually looking quite good in the first impression so i thought it would be a good thing but yes they've included this live wallpaper which is a very good thing if we move on to the cpu throttling test what i noticed so far let me just tell you one thing as you can see this is dropping at approximately 80 percent but i've noticed so far the rooms which has actual very good performance always has this kind of bad scores and cpu throttling test and gpu and geekbench score and tutu score i'm not sure why but it is actually i noticed it and yes it is same it is showing as approximately 80 percent it's not even touching at 100 percent but honestly speaking the performance is damn smooth you will definitely not regret after installing this build on your device even though let me just show you the geekbench score how is the geekbench score going on we have 548 single core score and 1609 is the multi-core score and the score seems to be quite good but of course it is not exactly the same one which you are looking to install which you are looking for in this redmi note 9 pro device if you talk about some other things for example in the safety net status what i have noticed so far the safety net status unfortunately is not passing device is not certified by default i'm not sure if i did something wrong even i hide the major skin settings 
but unfortunately the safety status is not passing but yes you can try out the magic sky props config module and if you don't know how to apply that how to use that i have a dedicated video on that one too so make sure to give it a try if you are eagerly waiting to install this build on your device and the settings app of course same kind of options same kind of features like other aosp base rooms are present here for you like pixel dust settings pixel dust wallpapers first of all we're just going to talk about the xiaomi parts the xiaomi parts is included here and in xiaomi parts you get the sound enhancer which is a very good thing display color calibration fps info overlay if you want to enable it you can enable or disable the usb fast charge including that in other options system languages and input etc google keyboard is of course the by default keyboard the best thing in the security app is you have the app locker you have uh, this kind of face lock we have fingerprint everything is available there so it's quite good that you don't need to install any kind of third party app to use app locker on your device in the display section we have the night side we have the dark theme night light adaptive brightness which is working good it is not actually a bug in the styles and wallpapers and if you want to enable your own style if you want to create your own style on your device we have many options many customization options available for you like we have many fonts customizations including that other options are actually same nothing is nothing is changed in the display settings but let me just show you one two more things here for example the battery stats i've already shown you so i don't think so i need to show you you can also reset these battery stats if you want to you have the option available it will also show you the design battery capacity etc in this wallpaper section pixel dust wallpapers as i was showing you the pixel dust wallpapers the still wallpapers were not present there but we have some wallpapers which are online so it it needs Needs internet connection on your device to turn to just download these wallpapers on your device and you can apply them on your device this is actually not bad a lot of users have internet connection on their devices pixel the settings also include some basic features series bar quick settings etc has same kind of options by the way which you get in other custom rooms so i don't think so we should talk about these features these are actually same but let me just show you one two more things for example in the theme section the theme section has some little bit of extra things for example you can customize the ascent color you can customize the rgb ascent color you can customize the fonts as if you don't know these fonts are actually quite good you can customize any font from here you can also customize a lot of things for example icon shape icon status bar icons switch style i have applied the one plus switch styles you can use the oxygen os material design you can also customize this system theme clock style which i have applied this one which is called space analog clock and you can apply any other one also this custom room always comes with the google apps pre-installed as far as i know in this mere tool build yes google apps are pre-installed link is in the description this is all thanks for watching goodbye have a nice day Over the edge, feel like I'm floating through the air.